All right. <laughs> Story time. So, what's up, guys? How's it going? It's been quite some time for the ones who knew the channel. Hi, I'm Shreesh. Travel when I get time, and I edit when I'm not procrastinating. That pretty much defines me. <laughs> um, yep. Yeah, uh, let's cut the chatter. Welcome to the vlog. So, this story is about uh, one of those recent trips which I took uh, a few months back. Uh, before we get started, there's a little background to it and uh, a few pieces lying here and there. So let's get to those pieces first so it all makes sense. Let's roll it. <laughs> okay, one, two, one, two, three, four. This trip is back from those days when you're in college and we're familiar with holidays called winter breaks. I was home and luckily my childhood buddy Anshul was too. It was 29th of December and we were wondering what to do for New Year's. Right up the street there was a bus stop and next thing we knew we were on the bus to Puri. Total recklessness. Literally no preparations, no bookings, straight up for the unknown. Just a thought got us so far away from home. Who knew this would be so special for us? For the next two days, we explored the richness of Puri, ate good food, long boarded along the coast, tried catching some waves, and laughed at silly jokes while we played with sand like kids. Later that night, we were lucky to play for a hundred people in the middle of the forest on the eve of New Year's. What an epic start to a new year, right? By the end of the trip, I knew I had to do it every year. It adds so much value to life. And as promised, I was back a year later, but this time it was far south. In a year, it seemed like everything went for a spin. Life in all manners. College got over, shifted to a new city, new life, new beginnings. Worries and stress came in all different forms. Career, future plannings and responsibilities. In the middle of the circus, you're there standing alone, hosting, entertaining, managing the crowd, and bearing the pressure of expectation which you need to fulfill. This is when you realize you're losing yourself in this loop. An escape is what can set you free. Maya and me were planning a trip for a long time and finally our lines crossed here. We wanted to run away from all the chatter and just be with ourselves. Do nothing for days, that was the agenda. Give your thoughts a break. And what place better than high above in clouds? My getaway paradise. Kadai Kanaan. It got dark by the time we reached, but I knew it would be worth getting up early for that sunrise. This is how exactly a day in Kodai starts. You get up early, witness the sunrise, head to the town, have the most delicious idlis, and then you're set for the day. Once you're done chilling after a while, me 
meet new people, make friends and head out with them to explore. Track down to the some of the sweet spots by the stream and just be there for the rest of the day. We met Tom that very morning and within minutes he was up for something which me and Bhaiya had planned a day before. To start off a new year with an icy cold dip in the falls. And when I say icy, it's dead cold water. For the next six days, this was our routine on repeat. Kurai always surprises you by its beauty. Every single time is a new experience altogether. This place has scarred me for good and it is and will always be on top of my list. There it was, my journey since past two years, and uh, so yeah, I've been doing so much care. Uh, I had to do it something this year as well. So the question is, what really went down? There's a little sneak peek to it. Hope you guys enjoy. Leaving. Good morning.